In two separate encounters in Chittu district of Andhra Pradesh, 20 red sandal smugglers were killed in exchange of fire with police. Six policemen were also injured in the fierce exchange of fire. During a joint combing operation, the task force and forest personnel spotted over 200 red sandal woodcutters involved in felling trees. Police maintain that the smugglers attacked the forces with sickles and country-made weapon when they were asked to surrender. Twenty smugglers were killed and many others fled the scene after police resorted to retaliatory fire. Red sandals is become very costly. Every ton of red sandals is costing more than a crore of rupees. Every tree is weighing more than one ton. So it's about one crore standing there. So they are tempted. People should, uh, are supporting uh, police. Actually, they are keeping their lives at risk. And they are fighting with uh, the smugglers under this. So what for they are went into the, into the forest, dense forest. So all the things will be coming out. A massive hunt is on at different checkposts to nab the absconding smugglers. An aerial survey is also being undertaken in the forest area. Protests were held in Tamil Nadu as after red sandal smugglers were killed. Slogans were raised against Andhra Pradesh police and action demanded against police officials. The state government had in June 2013 formed a special task force to check smuggling of red sandalwood. In May last year, a group of around 200 red sandal smugglers had attacked a police team with stones in forests in Chittur. Prior to that, a group of around 50 smugglers had attacked a police party while they were on a combing operation in Sheshchalam Forest. The STF has been carrying out raids on the hideouts across Chittur, Nellore and Kurnur districts to check the rampant felling of the red sandal trees. News Night Desk, DD News.